Hey folks, Matt from RareTheImage.com. A video or two ago, I was discussing where the Canon mirrorless lineup will be, where it will go, what we can expect to see as far as how the lineup's going to look as it matures. In other words, we looked at what DSLR's Canon offers, and we can kind of think, okay, well, we know what they currently have in the mirrorless system. How are they going to fill that in more? And where do we think it's going to be in, say, a year as the lineup matures and we get the tech from the M50 filters down into the other ones as it will do? What are we going to see? Are we going to see a 7D? Are we going to see a 90D? Are we going to see a 7070? We're going to see the entire DSLR lineup represented with an opposing or across the, you know, if we look over at the mirrorless, we'll see something equivalent in a mirrorless. Are we going to see it narrowed down? Are we going to see it expanded? We have some interesting feedback from one of our viewers on that video and um, an interesting thoughts on what he thinks will be the lineup. This is from Aiden, Aiden B on YouTube. I think Canon is going to be like this. Mirroring their APS-C lineup, there will be an M7D type body, pro body, dual card slots, high frame rate, rugged, um, high frame rate, rugged body. And then we'll have an M5 80D equivalent they are priced similarly and similarly specced, expecting successors with better specs than the M50. Then he's saying that the M50, which we have right now, the current M50, is the 77D equivalent. Not sure why this level exists, to be honest, but I guess Canon seems it's necessary. The M6, he's saying, is a T7I equivalent. Similar price and specs, again, likely both are to be upgraded soon. Might be amalgamated into the M50 line. Then he's got the M100, T6 equivalent, similar price and specs, meant as a casual or beginner budget option. I think the lineup will have a pro APS-C mirrorless like the 70 at the top, maybe the M1 Mark I or something. Then have the tiers beneath like the M, he's got number sign, currently the M5, so he's saying there's going to be an M something that's equivalent to the M5. Then an M number sign, number sign, which is currently the M50. And then an M, number sign, number sign, number sign, and currently the M100. So he's basically saying they're going to differentiate it by how many um, digits are after the M, how many numbers we have after the M. Interesting. For the sake of having an organized lineup, I hope the M6 and M50 are amalgamated in the next gen. The M6 and the 77D are at weird spots in the lineup. I think having the M6 and M5 was an experiment to see if consumers wanted an EVF or not. And due to the M50 having an EVF, I think that sales showed consumers preferred a built-in EVF. If that isn't the case and they both remain their separate line, then the table on top shows how I think the lineup should be. Okay, so thanks for your feedback, Aiden. Interesting thoughts. A little different than the way I'd looked at it. And um, just an interesting way to lay it out. Um, and I, I would agree there are some, like the 77D and the M6, interesting, you know, as you said, weird spots in the lineup. What do you guys think? What do you think of Aiden's lineup for where the Canon M series is going? Do you think his thoughts on the M series lineup are correct? Do you think it'll be different? Um, as what Aiden said here made you think a little differently compared to what I was suggesting the lineup would be. It's interesting because it's a whole new area that Canon's into now, into mirrorless. And the M50 rocked the boat uh, because, you know, as Aiden has said, as I have said, as others have said, when we look at the, the naming of it now, it's all over the board. I mean, we have an M100, which is way down the line as far as the level of camera. And then we got the M50, which is up the line, but it's you would think the 100 would be higher. So it's just, it's interesting how they're naming this. And that's, I think, what he's getting at and saying, hopefully we can tighten up the naming structure as we bring refreshes to the older ones. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for your uh, feedback, Aiden. Interesting thoughts. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.